Hey guys, it's McFlurry back here with another video, and today it's going to be a different type of video, where it's going to be a collection video. Now, I got inspired by other YouTubers who uh, did other collection videos like this, and what better way to start on it than take a focus on one of my favorite giant movie monsters of all time, next to King Kong. Godzilla. And in terms of uh, favorite giant movie monsters, uh, both King Kong and Godzilla are definitely at first place here. So yeah. I used to watch these movies all the time when I was a little kid. And th these types of movies, just uh, it just began to grow. I've been collecting them, watching them on uh, a little bit on VHS and soon DVD. <laughs> And it just began to grow, basically. And that's how I became a hardcore Godzilla fan. I also been collecting in the past oh, a lot and lots of figures. So yeah. And this is, I just picked this up recently too. From Walmart. So if you're a Godzilla fan, uh... I recommend you pick this up, especially if you don't have, somehow don't have all those movies yet, I guess. But it's impossible in my opinion. But, so yeah. Without further ado, let's start off with the original classic, the one that started it all. Godzilla 1954. So this is a, the Carterian Collection version of the movie. This got uh, tons of releases too. And it's a slipcover. And it leads to a very cool uh, cover. Uh, there you go. Sorry I had to do that. But here you have a, a really cool picture of Godzilla. This is actually the 1954 movie. But they're showing like the Godzilla from 2000 and 2002 slash 2003 and that stuff. Which is pretty weird. Then you get some type of manual thing. Which basically, uh, I think it's, uh, has information on the original film, I think. Yeah. And then, this is a really cool part. You open up, you get your two discs inside. And, voila, you get a Godzilla, awesome Godzilla pop-up. And, I was just so mind-blown when I saw that as a kid. Just like... I wonder if I use this for one of my fan films. How interesting would that look? But anyway, you get two discs. I think disc one is the Japanese version. And disc two is the... Uh, American version. The American version is called Godzilla King of the Monsters. And, uh... Their Japanese version is called Gojira. So... So, yeah. There you go. Back into... Where it belongs, and, uh, yeah, it's such an awesome, uh, classic film, it's just, uh, a lot of fans call this the best, uh, to me, it's, it's one of the best, it's just one of the best, it's just, like, you cannot go wrong with the first movie, it's just, it's an awesome original classic, uh, you know, it's, uh, the darkest Godzilla movie of all time, yeah, this is a dark one. That's what made it more interesting. And that's one of the things that helped it. Oh boy, here I have a really old VHS tape of a double feature between Godzilla versus the Sea Monster and Godzilla versus Megalon. Uh, so yeah, there's the tape. Now, I have Godzilla Raids again on DVD. I just don't know where it went. <laughs> so, yeah. Here is the DVD version of Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Just... <clears throat> Let me just show you the inside. There you go. They also give out the original titles, too. This is uh, from Kraken. So... Here I have uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan on DVD. This is also a Kraken release. 
see there. Uh, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. I a lot of people, a lot of Godzilla fans don't really like that film. Really, they they find it one of the least favorites. I mean, I thought it was rather decent, but it was actually originally supposed to be a King Kong movie. I think it would have been better if it was a King Kong movie because Godzilla just makes no sense because. You know, it makes a whole lot of sense because he Godzilla's discovered on an island. He has an interest in some uh, native girl or something like that. And he fights uh, a giant lobster type creature. Just would have made more sense if it was King Kong, but Toho, they like to be money grabbers. so But they're still cool though. And uh, here we get to uh, Godzilla versus Biollante. Now I'm aware that they released The Return of Godzilla... On DVD and Blu-ray now, but I would like to I would like to get that sometime soon in the future. This one, uh, it's a. Uh, I thought it was decent. Not one of my favorites, but I liked it. I thought it was rather decent. Had an interesting, uh, new created interest, interesting, insane monster named Biollante. Pretty creepy, insane looking monster there. So yeah. Uh. Here I have uh, the Toho Godzilla Collection Blu-ray double feature, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla Moth of the Battle for Earth. I actually have a DVD version of this uh, double feature right here, only it's with the double-sided disc. But then I didn't know where that went either. Uh, comes with a little snapper thing. Uh, here we go. Comes with a little, some type of... Uh, manual thing like always they include now and here we get it, the movies it's awesome that they include have their own discs and you know our own disc art that stuff yeah anyway speaking of double features I have a uh, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer I'll get into my thoughts about some of these movies later. I want to get to review that set. Uh, so yeah, this one's uh, the disc in here is not very good. Had this for a long time because it's a double-sided disc. Yeah, but still a pretty interesting set. Then I have uh, okay, so I have Godzilla 1998, aka Zilla the movie. Uh, on uh. On a VHS tape, but then I don't have it at the moment. I don't know where it went, but but yeah, I have a uh, two copies of Godzilla 2000. One of them is messed up, which is this one, and one of them is a better copy. Now it works. Then and down here. I have Godzilla vs. Megaguirus on DVD, but I don't know where it is at the moment. <laughs> I also have King Kong vs. Godzilla, the American version, on DVD, but I don't know where that is went either. So yeah, uh, Godzilla rates again. Uh, it's a it's a decent film. I will say that, but it's uh, will not even come close to the original. King Kong vs. Godzilla is an awesome classic versus movie. One of my favorite versus movies of all times. Uh, in terms of vers favorite versus movies, third place, uh, it definitely comes in. Second place is Alien vs. Predator, and first place is Freddy vs. Jason. It definitely is one of the best versus movies of all time. I mean, it's the two most popular movie monsters going at it all time, so how can you... How can you, uh, go wrong with that? They also released a new edition of it, where it contains both the American version and the Japanese version, I would like to get that soon. So yeah, plus I'll be able to able to own the movie again, but oh, this time own the American and Japanese version. So wow, okay, that'll that'll be really cool. <laughs> Glad they finally came out with it. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, I also have Terror of Mechagodzilla on YouTube. I bought it on YouTube on Google Play. That stuff. You know that ability that you can do. Yeah, now I now I own the movie now. In a different way, I still own it now. <laughs> I also have Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 on DVD. 
but I can't find it at the moment, so yeah. But here is another Blu-ray double feature of the Toho Godzilla collection again. This time it contains a Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, All Out Attack. Long dang title. Uh, Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. We just call this GMK. And basically the same layout. And, uh, yeah. Another nice set of double features. Comes with another weird manual thing. Don't, we don't really care about that. Then we get to do awesome discs. Ugh. I don't know why I have a stuffy nose I'm talking sometimes. Just a side effect or something. Oh no. Then I have Godzilla Gets Mecha Godzilla separately on DVD. So yeah. Here is the inside, which is contains my favorite Mecha Godzilla design of all time. Uh but I, I, in the in the same way, I like them all equal still. Just that this is my favorite, but it's Godzilla Tokyo SOS. It's the 50th anniversary edition on DVD. Yeah. And then here we get to my favorite Godzilla movie of all time, Godzilla Final Wars. You'll see what I mean. When I get to talk about it, when I review that set. Oops, I forgot to show you the inside. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Here we get to Godzilla 2014. Now, if you remember my history with me in this film, uh... It was my least favorite Godzilla movie of all the series because I hated it to 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 gut. I just hated gut. It's just that I purely hated it because I mean it's for a smart reason though. Like you know, Godzilla has finally returned. I I, I was already missing uh, the Godzilla series after Godzilla: Final Wars ended. That was the last movie, and then. I was dying for a new Godzilla movie, but then we never really got it, and I just thought that was it. Then Legendary comes in, and uh, they announced a new Godzilla movie, and then I got it at Redbox, and I was disappointed. <sighs> because I was I was going at Godzilla fanboyism in a different territory where, like, like I was looking for heck of entertainment and that stuff, crazy entertainment, action, you know, just, uh, just a little tiny bit of comedy in here, you know, just awesome classic themes, great monster battles, maybe an, an awesome foe that Godzilla fights, a decent Godzilla design, you know, and sadly that was not what I got, but... Over the years, uh, I finally found out that what, truly what this film was trying to be, uh, Gareth Edwards intended it to be a realistic approach to Godzilla, and, you know, I got tired of hating it already, you know, here's a little manual thing, I got tired of hating it, you know, I just, I, I already got tired of it, you know, so... Yeah. But, you know, after I what I saw what this film was trying to be on a YouTube video, Gareth Edwards directed it to be a realistic take on Godzilla, you know, for what the film, and realizing that it brought Godzilla back to its roots... You know, it brought Godzilla back again, you know. And this is the reason why Godzilla movies are still being made today. You know. Uh, 
just that I'm 50-50 with the movie now. Where it's not good, but it's not it's not bad. <laughs> so yeah. It's okay, but it's a nice awesome DVD set in this nice awesome uh, edition on DVD though. Then we get to my favorite film of the MonsterVerse franchise. And it's my second favorite out of all these movies next to this one. But this is my first favorite. But this is this is my second favorite by a hair. This is Godzilla King of the Monsters. The new uh, movie that came out last year, 2019. This movie, oh my gosh. They improved so much on here compared to this movie. Um, better acting... I felt for the characters more in this one. I cared about the characters more in this film. I cared about Godzilla more in this film. Godzilla looks awesome in this movie. You know. Some scenes are just beautiful. The monster designs are awesome in the movie. Just great action scenes. Just. Better action scenes. It's not dark. You know. Just a lot of colorful. Uh, shots and that stuff. Just, like, there's just a lot of things that improved on here. Even Godzilla's more powerful in this movie. And this film was the reason why, uh, I, like, end up liking this Godzilla. Because this is more like Godzilla, not like what we had in here. This is more like Godzilla. He's powerful in this one. His atomic breath is powerful. His, even brought back his, uh, one of his forms. I'm not gonna spoil it. Is that, if you're a Godzilla fan, you probably heard about this, but you somehow haven't seen it. You are missing out. This is a, the DVD copy. Uh, awesome soundtrack, too. Just mind-blowing. It was... It brought joy to my heart listening, saw, seeing this at the theater. I felt the weight of the monsters in this one. Because I haven't seen Godzilla 2014 in theaters, but I probably would have, but... This time you really felt the, the height difference between monsters and the weight of them. I really felt. And that credit scene was by far, of course, one of my favorite parts of the movie. Why am I showing it again? <laughs> but seriously, oh my gosh, this is just a, a masterpiece of a film, in my opinion. This, this, it's great. It's awesome. I really like the blue theme. I found the the red theme of 2014 dull and boring. Uh, I think the red theme in this is beautiful. Kong Skull Island was awesome, but you know it, it just can't beat this. Godzilla vs Kong might be my my most favorite monster movie when it comes about, but for now this remains my favorite. And even though when Godzilla vs Kong is not, this will still always be my favorite right here. But I have faith in Godzilla vs. Kong uh, proceeding. It's just like, I feel like Legendary, as the more they go on, they get better and better. You know, Godzilla 2014, people hated it, some people liked it, some people thought it was okay. I'm now 50-50 with it now. And uh, Kong Skull Island, uh, a lot of fans are 50-50 with that one, not G fans, Kong fans. And, uh, but there are more Kong fans that liked it. It did, uh, really good in the box office. Not as good as Godzilla 2014, though. But it did pretty decent well in the box office. And, uh, you know. And then they came out with, I mean, I really enjoy Kong Skull It's a, It's an awesome legendary MonsterVerse film. But, uh, basically a prequel film to the whole series because it takes place in 1973 I believe but uh but the movie came out in 2017 and of course they came out with this which sadly uh, bombed at the box office but you know what they say sometimes and most of the time an underrated movie is uh mostly good yes I did hear some of the critics opinions about this movie just ignore critics people they are what they are. They're not true. They're not the true audience. We're the true audience to judge a movie. We came there for the entertainment, and that's what we got. 
so I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like almost they're getting better here, though. Let's just hope, cross our fingers, that Godzilla vs. Kong will do an awesome do job. Yes, I've been hearing, keeping up on following the news and updates on Godzilla vs. Kong, so I now have a great knowledge of what might happen in the movie now. So, yeah. Whoosh! So that's my DVDs, and we, yes, we're not finished yet. <laughs> Alright, here is uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee on the Xbox. This is the video games, the video games now. <laughs> video, video games. Uh, I mean, it's really good. It's a really decent fighting game in general, and a really awesome Godzilla game in general. Just like I highly recommend it. And this, th this is the whole reason why I bought the Xbox. This game right here. Pretty crazy story, huh? Right. Then I have Godzilla Save the Earth on Xbox, which sadly is not that much of a good copy, because it's kind of jacked up. But, you know. Alright. But it's still an awesome game. It's really good. I find, I find, I, it's my favorite out of the Atari trilogy. It might be my favorite Godzilla game of all time, because it's, it's equal between Unleashed and Destroy All Monsters Melee. It's awesome. This is Godzilla... Save the Earth on PS2. Thought somebody was calling me. That's why I slowed it down a bit. But this is Godzilla Save the Earth on PS2. This is the copy of the game I've been using uh, to do my Let's Play on. And sadly, it surprisingly works. This, as you can tell, this I got this at GameStop a long time ago. And then here we got Godzilla Unleashed. A lot of people say this is their least favorite. I don't know. I find this... Uh, Really good too. I find I like it just as equal as a uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Really, <laughs> I really like this game. It's just I think it's just awesome. Then we have uh, Godzilla Unleashed on the PS2, which is not as good as the Wii version, but I find it rather decent. You know, it it's good. It keeps the style of the original Atari trilogy. You know, but I find it rather decent. I still find it awesome, though. Not as good as the Wii version, though. <laughs> then, uh... We get to the figures here. Oh boy, where do I start? <laughs> um... Uh, let's start with this guy right here. Are you... If you're aware, uh... I do have the Bandai Creation 12-inch Godzilla figure. But, I can't find it right now at the moment. It's buried in the closet somewhere, but... Yeah... You'll recognize these guys from short films, battles, stop motions, and uh, fan films. But this is the f one of the first figure Godzilla figures I ever got. The two Bandai Creation Godzilla, <laughs> <laughs> Bandai Creation Gaigen two thousand four. There you go. Plan to get uh, three more figures myself this Christmas. Uh, I'm just gonna grab uh, random things. Sound wrong, but random figures. I'm gonna try to hurry this up because I don't like my videos, collection videos taking up this too long. But it's kind of hard to do because you have so much, so much stuff in here. Uh, Godzilla 2004, but band decoration. Awesome figure. Mecha Godzilla 1974 by band decoration, which is also an awesome figure. Oh, what to grab next? Uh, Godzilla again? Uh, blah, 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 blah. King Ghidorah 2001 by Band Creation. There you go. Which I find it a really awesome figure as well. Angiris by Bandai, the Showa one, awesome figure. These are all the figures I have in my collection. It took a while to set up this video, by the way. Not happy about that, but uh, this is Rodan by Jack Specific. Awesome figure. I'm not including the accessories because you know you already know the accessories. King Ghidorah by Jack Specific, based on the new movie. Not even, which is, might not even be new anymore. But okay. Bandai uh, Mecha King Ghidorah, which is a great figure. Awesome figure. 
Bandai Heisei Godzilla. Masterpiece of a figure. Rainbow Mothra. Which is cool. An awesome figure. My bet that's my bandit creation, by the way. Just wanted to know because I didn't. I just wanted to say that because I, yeah, I didn't say the name, but whatever. Bandai, uh, the new Bandai uh, Space Godzilla, which is a nice addition. Uh, another good figure in terms of detail, in terms of being a great figure. Destroyer. Yeah. It's an awesome figure, but it's sadly towered by all the other figures, but, you know. Here we have the Bandai Creation King Caesar. I don't know which version that is. Looks like the 1974 version to me. This is the NECA Godzilla 1994. Which is probably my... F not my first NECA figure, but... Probably one of my first... Uh... Anything else here, really? Oh, yeah, him. And him. And that. <laughs> Let me get these guys out. Alright. Here we have uh, the Bandai Creation reissue 2019 Godzilla 1968 to 1972. Which is an awesome figure, in my opinion. Uh, Godzilla 2004 by Bandai. Awesome figure, Godzilla 2014 by Bandai Creation, which is an awesome figure as well. Gosh, I'm going to hate putting these away. <laughs> uh, Gas Upon Rodan 2004 figure. Dang it. Stay there. Uh, another Gas Upon Rodan 2004 figure, which is like a different edition, which is weird. I don't know, I'm stepping on something that's weird. Creepy. Here we have a V version 2 of uh, Godzilla, the, the NECA Godzilla 2019 figure. Which is an awesome figure. I really like that one. Here we have the Bandai uh, Kiryu. <laughs> I would really like a Bandai Creation Godz Mecha Godzilla 2002, but they don't have it at the moment. And here we have, uh, I'm trying to see if I missed any figures, because just so many of them, you know. But, here we have this giant guy right here. Holy poop. Uh, the Jack, the, I think, 12-inch scale God, Jack Specific Godzilla 2019, which is an awesome figure. And then we have, uh... One of the newest figures. Possibly the... <clears throat> one of the newest Godzilla figures that I got at Walmart. And that is the awesome uh, 2004 Playmates 12-inch scale Godzilla 2004. I really like this figure. It's awesome. Um, I'm excited for the rest of Playmates' uh, line to come out. I want to track the rest of the Playmates line down, but I just can't. <clears throat> I'm really excited of what they have next in store. Uh, I'm definitely going to get that Playmates Megalon and uh, Gorosaurus if they're not like Space Godzilla and Shin Godzilla. That the, it's not, not that Space Godzilla and Shin Godzilla are bad toys, but their faces are just... Ooh, they're disgraceful. All right, here we have the the last piece of Godzilla collection I have. This is the one of the new things I got. I actually got this before that, so which is funny. So yeah, this is the Toho Godzilla collection. Uh, so yeah, Godzilla Moth of the Battle for Earth. I find it decent. They say it's the weakest of the series, but I find it enjoy it. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, one of the most awesome Godzilla movies of all time. One of my favorites, too. Godzilla vs. Destroya, another decent Godzilla film. In my opinion, definitely one of my favorites, too. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, a decent film. They don't like it as much, but... Godzilla 2004, I like the fight scenes. The soundtrack is awesome. The, the human scenes are awesome and cool. 
just that has a nice ad neat addition of humans fighting and monsters fighting just just nothing but fighting 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 awesome action scenes awesome scenes of humans fighting monsters it's so ridiculous and stupid as funny at some parts uh, some parts where the comedy is there and I think it, it's like it's funny the monster rampage scenes are awesome you know it has my favorite design of Godzilla and that stuff has my favorite design of Rodan yeah I mean I mean monster X he's an awesome slash Kazuki Dora he's an awesome edition such an awesome movie. <laughs> but I can't see why everybody doesn't like it. But not everybody doesn't like this movie. Just uh, there's a lot of... I feel like there's a lot of G-fans that like this movie more than the, than the fans that don't like it. <laughs> but I just don't see why as much. But alright. Still my favorite Godzilla movie of all time. Here you have Godzilla 2000. Another one of my favorites. Awesome movie. <laughs> Awesome return to the King of the Monsters, uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, which is weird because it's included with the other Millennium films, should have been included with other other AC films here, but... Another... Uh, some peop some Godzilla fans don't like this movie, uh, but others do enjoy it, and I, and I am on that side, basically. I really enjoy the movie, it's one of my favorites, uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagears... Uh, they say it's the weakest out of the Millennium series. But I don't know. I still enjoyed it. I still find it rather decent. Uh, GMK, awesome movie. One of my favorites. Masterpiece of a Godzilla film. Godzilla gets Mecha Godzilla. Another masterpiece of a Godzilla movie. Godzilla took US West. Not as decent as Godzilla gets Mecha Godzilla, but still, I find I really liked it. Thought it was decent. So yeah, except these. Those are my thoughts on all the movies except these two peak deaths because i never seen them yet. And I saw Rebirth of Mothra 3 one time when I was a kid. Yep, yeah, self-cover. I saw that movie when I was a kid, Rebirth of Mothra 3, and I really liked it. You know, my first Mothra movie I ever saw, and I really liked it. So yeah, that makes me interested to check these ones out. So yeah. Which I'm definitely going to like them too. And I would definitely like to check out a Rebirth of Bosses for me one time. Sadly, I don't think it has official release yet, so... Yeah. But there is Volume 2. They do this Volume 1 and Volume 2 thing, which I'm alright with. <laughs> and the way the discs are stacked up... Well, they really are, but... It comes in the style where the discs are stacked up. You get this little thing paper thing of all the movies. I guess information. <laughs> um, yeah, disc 1 is stacked up on top of disc 2. Disc 2 is stacked up, stacked up on top of disc 3. This contains 6 movies. Then we get to volume 2, which contains a bit more movies. Yeah, really awesome set. I highly recommend it. It costs $50 at Walmart. Jeez. But worth the price. If you're a Godzilla fan. Like I am. And some other G fans out there. So yeah. Disc 1 comes uh, stacked up on top of Disc 2. Disc 2 gets stacked up on Disc 3. And Disc 3 gets stacked up on Disc 4. And Godzilla Final Wars is the only movie in this entire set and in this uh, DVD case to have its own disc. So yeah. Oh boy. So yeah. What a mouthful. That was my um Godzilla collection, entire Godzilla collection. I haven't not my entire one, but but what I can bring out. Really awesome box too. Really like that box. I couldn't stop looking at that box. And that set when I first got it, but anyway, that is my uh, Godzilla collection. Um really, really an awesome franchise. It's just that it's just that one of the things I just grew up with. By the way, I have the PS4 Godzilla game too, but I just can't find it at the moment.
So yeah, I definitely think that's an awesome Godzilla game too. I don't see what some people's gripe with it. Then again, it's normal people, normal gamers and normal critics playing that game. So, when I hear a G-Fan plays it, they enjoy it, so. <laughs> Do critics and mean people count? No, because they don't understand the true awesomeness of a movie, entertainment of it, or, you know, to have fun with a game that is truly for the other type of people. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't see what their gripe is. They need discipline. <laughs> From a giant, uh... Who? I don't know. What am I saying there? Such a weird. I was going into a different dimension there. Weird. But, uh, still, they need discipline. But whatever. Uh, so yeah. Just that, just one of my all-time favorite childhood, uh, things. It just, it just awesome. It just began to grow. Like I said, in the beginning of this long video, just already past half an hour already, and I need to end it. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite Godzilla movie out of this one, this collection here I have here, and what was your favorite uh, Godzilla figure from this collection over here? By the way, I forgot to say this, uh, I also have the Create Your Own Scenes Jack Specific Godzilla 2019 figures in there, and a little bag. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. So yeah, there's my collection of Godzilla stuff. Coming up next will probably be, uh, not King Kong, because I don't have... Maybe I will do King Kong next. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't seem bad. And coming up next will be Crash Bandicoot, Hotel Transylvania, other things, Spyro the Dragon, whatever, whatever, or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, just, I don't know, what, what was that awkward pause there, but, <laughs> you know the drill. So, yeah. That's my entire collection of Godzilla stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like the stuff I do on my channel, be sure to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button now. If you like the video, well, go ahead and leave a like on it. So yeah. And plus, what was your favorite video game from over here too? You know. So yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. And... In the words of Goji Fan 93, stay big G fans. <laughs>